If you don't know where you're going, any road is fine. Words to live by in my book. In today's vlog, we'll talk about goals, how to make them actionable, and why they're so important. Stick around. All right, but what do I mean by actionable goals? Think about it like the difference between wishing for something, say a million dollars, and wanting it. If you wish you had a million dollars, you might just go through life normally without giving it a whole lot of thought. Maybe you buy a lottery ticket. But if you want it, and particularly if you want it bad enough, you're gonna do something about it. Start reading books on sound investment strategies, how to save, budgeting. Actionable goals allow us to have a clear path to where we wanna go. And the more specific those goals, the better. Think about planning a road trip, for example. It's one thing to say, I wanna get from point A to point B, but do you wanna get there as quickly as possible? Do you wanna get there as cheaply as possible? Do you wanna take the scenic route, take in the sights? Those things matter. A little over a week ago, I set off on this journey to see how fit I can get while I'm employed. But fitness is kind of a vague concept. It's pretty subjective. So I think it's time to take my own advice and put some objective goals in place. When it comes to fitness in particular, I like performance-based goals because they're objective and easily measurable. So as for the bike, I've got three goals. The first of which is to do better at Masters Nationals. My showing last year was not so great. To make that a little bit more concrete, I wanna improve my time on the TT, actually finish the road race, and place better in the crit. But the two goals I'm gonna focus the most on are to win a race, any race, I'm not picky, and to upgrade from category two to category one. If I'm honest, these are both pretty big stretch goals for me. They're gonna be really tough. And I'm not sure they're achievable no matter what I do, but I'm gonna try. Buckled, everybody buckled. Yeah. Finally. On the job front, I wish I were already employed. I'm going to try to be employed as soon as possible, but I'm going to make it my goal to get a job within three months of the layoff. To that end, I will have some process goals, so updating my LinkedIn profile, adding a new headshot, setting up profiles and resumes on all the popular job sites, and let's say sending out at least 10 resumes per week. As with anything, I'll keep track of those goals, check on the progress, and make updates to the goals as they make sense. In the gym, once again, I'm going with performance goals. I'd like to be able to bench my body weight for sets of five, Right now on a good day, I can get one. It'd be cool to do sets of 20 pull-ups. As for the lower body, I don't have any weight or rep goals. I have no desire to have my legs get bigger and there's really no number I'm shooting for there. I'm doing the deadlifts and squats for the general benefits they bring, like core strength and bone density. They'll also go a long way toward helping with my body composition goals. I wanna over-index on weight and I'll get to that in a future video, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when that comes out. I don't really care what my weight is, I just wanna lean out a bit, maybe lose the love handles. I'm not gonna pick a body fat percentage. I don't think there's any real value to me in fixating on a number. If you're a cyclist, you may be wondering why I didn't mention anything about FTP in relation to my goals, and that's because, well, I don't really think it matters. Increasing my FTP isn't gonna help me win any races, at least not directly. And sure, a rising tide raises all ships, but my focus needs to be elsewhere. Pack positioning and figuring out which wheel to follow, but really, I need to work on my anaerobic punch. All right, you pick your goals, and you've got a good mix of achievable ones and stretch goals, that's great. But what happens when life gets in the way? You've only got so many hours in a day, and some of your goals might conflict, and that's okay. You need to be honest with yourself about your priorities. You just need to know what you're going to do when your goals conflict. If you're truly honest with yourself and you have a plan, you can keep making progress toward each of your goals even when they get in each other's way. Thanks again for coming along with me on this journey. For more in this series, click right here. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.